Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. We are on our Saturday, our Saturday morning. We've just arrived in the woods and we're about to change into our muddy boots because it is super muddy. We've got the family here today. And we, well, we rarely, we realise we rarely meet up at this six. Hello everyone. So we, um, yeah, thought we'd go for a little walk in the woods today, a little coffee afterwards. Hoda has had swimming this morning and he's just in the car. That's our first, that's our first Christmas card. Nice, thank you very much. Lucy was super organised, did everyone's Christmas cards. Right. So this is the mud we're currently dealing with in the UK. Just driving into this car park, I've got the Range Rover in its off-road height, which um, lifts it up a little bit. But yeah, super nice day. So nice to get out in nature. I love going to the gym, lifting my weights, but part of me just thinks you can't beat just coming outside. Fresh air, trees, oxygen, something about that. Um, Luce and I love so much. Power, power, power. Oh, Super oh muddy. Oh my feet are just sinking. Oh my god. <laughs> this, is, this is why we got the all terrain off road buggy, and this is. Oh, you're wearing trainers. Film the buggy. You're wearing trainers. Yeah. Oh man. You need to get yourself some of these. Good place to stop, George. Yeah. Yeah. So why did we stop? So you're gonna, you're gonna Don't the stop. The yeah, this is. That's going quite well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little bit muddier than I thought it would be today. Super muddy, but we're coming round to the end of the loop at the moment. Okay, this is looking, um, how can we say, Ch challenging. Yes! Can we insert that clip? And this is us years later with a... Lucy, you're going to need power. Speed and power. If I use power, I'm going into that puzzle. No, power and speed is what we need here. Power. You need to go fast because if you stop, you're screwed. You need to apply some. You need to apply some weight to the bottom to the back. Is it stuck? Yeah, that's why you can't stop. Yeah, I'm saying can you use this Okay. Oh my God! No, hold on. Sorry, I got really stuck. Bear with. I mean, that's probably the worst bit of filming you've ever alive. had in your vlog ever. Oh, there there is trouble. always <laughs> Sorry. Alive. My foot did touch me. Oh, no. I feel bad about your guys' shoes. Are they? Yeah. You bought me these, so... Did I? Yeah. Oh. Get some new ones for Christmas. I know what to get you off Christmas now. Some walking boots. And when they run, they run. And when they down, they down. And when they run, halfway up, they ladder up, no doubt. Just come out some coffee at the brew house project and there's a van here taco look at me now we're gonna have to get some tacos I'm very excited i've been meaning to try this for a while and they've popped up in the car park here so I'm very excited to try i'm pretty hungry now and definitely need a coffee off that treacherous walk yeah oh oh wait let me all right, go on then, what do you want to say for the vlog? Never walk with your hands in your pockets, because if you fall, you can't save yourself. Okay, well, that's great. That's Thank you for that. Thank you for that. All right, we're going around doing advice. Oh, put me on the spot. Yeah, man. You have to come back to me. Okay. Okay, all right. Race, any, any time. Okay, time, any advice? Your best, like, there's like a lot of people watching this. What can you tell them? do what you want. Always do what you want. I like that. If you don't like it, change it. Okay. Yes. Oh, I like yeah. it. All right, really cool. <laughs> yeah, th that's straight out of my latest <laughs> caption, Jess. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh, you don't count because it's your channel. 
Right. You, you get out of it. Right. Mike and uh, Mike's still thinking. Mike's really still thinking about it. You'll laugh at this one. Go, I won't. Go on. No silly answers. Put your clothes out for the gym the night before on the on the floor. Bring out of bed in the morning, clothes straight on, off to the gym. Yes, I did this. I know. I don't follow my own advice. Oh yeah, Mike's had a gym membership about how long? A year. A couple of years. How many times been? A couple of years. Uh, I won't do this to you on the vlog. I'll edit this out. A few times. Sorry. <laughs> we'll get back soon together. Back in the gym. We'll be back. I've got more of a quote. That's fine. We like a quote. Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Coda? Anything? No. <laughs> Very good. Perfect. Very good. Yeah, that's good. Spot on. You've missed Mike on the vlogs, guys. We've missed Mike on the vlogs. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 6 a.m. workout complete. I'm getting this weird addiction lately to things that are outside my comfort zone, things that don't feel natural to do, things that feel challenging, and I'm kind of loving it. Working out 100% one of them, I've said it so many times, physical exercise for me, when done consistently, which I have been pretty consistent for a lot of this year and definitely in recent months, and not only the burst of energy and the feel good that you get after a workout initially, but kind of the long-term effect on your life when you do physical exercise, or for me, I, don't, I know it's the same for a lot of people. Yeah, this great feeling, and I, can, I recommend it to everyone. But yeah, I've recently got this strange addiction to doing these things um, that are hard, and that's things like waking up at five in the morning to get ready and go to the gym in the cold, in the dark, and go and work out. Everything in my mind, is going, what are you doing? Stay in bed. It's way nicer to stay in bed, way more comfortable to stay in bed. It's easier to stay in bed, but something in me lately has shifted and I'm able to get jump out of bed and go to the gym. Same with the cold showers. And I think all these things work together. No part of me in my mind wants to jump in a freezing cold shower and have that experience, but I've got this weird addiction to it and I, I'm doing it and I'm getting this buzz and this feeling of, of it. And again, consistently over time, that has improved my life, my clarity, my focus, my mental kind of well-being. And it's about these things, I think. I think it's about what it's what, how it came about is that I've lately became very, very self-aware of my own bare minimum. Now, what I mean by that, I'm just going to check this is still recording. What I mean, what I mean by that is I've identified times in my life where I'm running at my bare minimum in terms of health, in terms of life in general, in terms of relationships probably, in terms of my work. Let me try and explain what I mean. For me, that would look like staying in bed longer, staying in the warm, it's easier. Not going to the gym at all, not working out, not getting the physical exercise. In my work, doing the bare minimum of things that I need to do so everything just carries on running, just everything just carries on. Nothing improves, nothing progresses. Nothing falls behind or gets worse, but things just tick along. And I think lately I've become incredibly self-aware of times that I've been in that thing. And then I start thinking to myself, how does that make me feel? And it doesn't make me feel anything, it, which is terrible. It makes me feel 
like I'm not progressing. It makes me feel like I'm lacking purpose. It makes me feel like I'm waiting for something. And then on the flip side, if I start doing these things that are hard, how does that make me feel? So not running at my bare minimum. And that makes me feel like I'm growing, I'm progressing. I'm proud of myself. I'm enjoying being me more. I'm enjoying the human experience more. I'm having a better experience all round. And I think it's about these doing these things that are out of your comfort zone. And it's all these cliche phrases, which, you know, everyone says, even I say them, get outside your comfort zone, just start, just do it. All these kind of things that don't have much behind them when you just see the phrase, but that's why I like YouTube, because I can ramble on for 10 minutes and hopefully some of you still listen. Yeah, I think I'm learning at the moment. Also, I did an Instagram reel. I'm not saying go and buy an expensive gym membership or I know like the UK at the moment, there's cost of living crisis. People are not prioritizing. Um, people are having to prioritize the bare minimum, the bare, the essentials. I did a reel on Instagram the other day, three ways to improve your life. And I'm talking to myself in these reels. If you've seen them, I'm 100% talking to myself and my experience. I spoke about things like cold showers, reading more, walking in nature, calling a friend, you know, all these things that are free. Listening to podcasts. I've been listening to Diary of a CEO lately in the gym and it's way less business focused than I thought it was. It's way more about mindset and just thinking. It's about thinking. We go th another thing in my, in my bare minimum life, I'm going through the day just like a robot, like a computer, just not being present, being aware. You get to the end of the day and you think, okay, I got through that day, which is, is an achievement in itself. That is an achievement. Anyone who's ever struggled mentally, myself included in the past, just getting to the end of the day and thinking, all right, that was an okay day. That can be an achievement 100%. But right now I'm focusing on running at above my bare minimum. So doing more of these difficult things, doing extra things in my work and career, trying to be incredibly present as a dad. All these kinds of things that I've learned lately make me feel, when done consistently, when done together, make me feel much better and give me a much better human experience. But I have waffled on for too long. That's what happens when you get up at 6 a.m., work out, listen to a podcast, get incredibly motivated, and then put off driving home. So I'm gonna finish this little bit of coffee. We're gonna get back to Lucy and Coda and see what today brings. I'm not too sure yet. I also have this thing where I, I can't remember anything. <laughs> I think that's a separate point, but if you ask me, Lucy would be shaking her head. If, she, if you ask me what we're doing today, what I don't even know what day it is. I think it's I think it's it's Wednesday or Thursday. And that's not me saying, oh, doesn't matter what day it is to me. I, I'm a YouTuber. I genuinely have a problem with remembering stuff like that. I probably should look into that at some point because I have no idea what we're doing today. But I, that's why I have lists, why I have a diary. Then it will come flooding back. I remember. Anyway. Now, a couple of days later from that last clip, these Vlogmas videos seem to be over a few days for some reason, um, just because we're super busy. And I think it's quite nice when it's a bit more going on in a video instead of it just being literally like a one day thing, especially if we're not up to much that's vloggable in that day. So um, today we've come out on a bit of a mission, a lighting mission for the new house. Uh, we get the keys in a couple of days from now and we are basically getting the electrician in as a first job so he can get all the fixtures done, all the spotlights fitted, all the nice lights done so that when we get the ceiling, so there's Artex ceilings all over the whole house, every room, because obviously if he's doing the ceilings, he needs the lights to be where they're gonna be. So we're basically getting the timelines right for everything. We're looking for some lights. We found some in Next that we really like. We went to go and look at them and they don't have them in stock, but it's these ones here. I'll just see if my phone's gonna, hopefully you can see that. Okay, they're really nice. It's like a five piece cluster light that hangs over the staircase. So we're gonna get like a bit of a grand staircase going on. That's the, that's the idea anyway. But anyway, mission failed there, but we might just order it online and have it delivered maybe tomorrow. But we did just kind of want to see it in person just to check that we like it. So hopefully it's all good, but um, it's timings are getting a little bit tight. That's the only thing we're slightly worried about, but it's all good. It's only cosmetic -y stuff anyway. And now we've come to Tesco. This is an errand day today. I need to buy Coda some new vests because he's grown out of the nine to 12 months. He's now in 12 to 18 month clothes. Um, well, he has been in 12 to 18 months for like two months, um, but I haven't bought him any other vests yet because the other ones are just about fitting still. So I'm gonna pick up some quick vests for him. Um, and then we need to, yeah. Then we need to go and find um, an outdoor light to go outside the front of the house. That's so like a dusk to dawn one, so it's always on it when it's dark outside. Hello, are you trying to talk as well? Hi. Trying out this new vlog camera as well. So let us know what the quality's like. This just arrived yesterday. From what I can see, it's 
pretty nice. I'm hoping it's good. It's a small, it's the Sony, for those camera people who care, it's the Sony ZV-1 and it's supposed to be the vlogging camera. Um, so, so far so good. We're gonna check back the footage obviously later today. We sold our Canon G7X, which we've been using for many, many years. We've had the first, second and third models of that camera, but this camera is supposed to solve a lot of frustrations for vloggers such as autofocus. So if I showed you my phone now, it just focuses and then back on my face. That supposedly should have worked really well. If I wanted, if I wanted to quickly show you this tape measure, it should instantly focus and then focus back on me. Focus on the tape, that's amazing. This is the most, that's, Okay, I'm happy, that is worth every single penny. Autofocus is one of the biggest frustrations for every single vlogger. Um, hopefully the audio's good, picture's good, but most of you don't care about that stuff. You just wanna watch a little vlog. I've just dropped Lucy at the store. One thing I noticed, I filmed on my phone, in that last shop, there was, it was almost like no one worked there. And I just thought, compared to the Philippines, this is a, this is a really, really funny observation because I, I literally filmed this to put on my Instagram story because we've been in Manila like a, a few weeks back and people there are so, so helpful. Any question you might have, um, there's like tons of people working there, but in this huge, this huge store just now, we couldn't find anyone um, to help us. So I thought that was quite a funny observation and comparison. It's getting cold. It's getting cold, it's getting festive, it's getting Christmassy, it's getting busy in the shops, but I think people are starting to do their little bit of panic buying. It is, what is it? You're gonna tell me the temperature. Seven degrees, seven degrees. <laughs> Coda's in a good mood as well today. He's got a little bit of a cold, bless him, don't you? A little bit of a cold, but nothing, nothing we can't deal with. Ah, yes, did you wake up at four in the morning? Yes, you did. Did you have to sleep with mommy and daddy for a little bit? Yes, you did. Uh... Coda, can I see your new hat? Coda. Where's daddy? Yeah. Hello, daddy. Yeah. Say wow. hi, can we wave? Yeah. That Hello. is a lovely new hat. So Lucy picked up Coda a new hat yes. in the shop. Yeah. I did. Because guys, it's freezing. It's it, it, where am I? It's getting freezing. <gasps> you climbing? He's climbing. He's getting super strong. I know you guys all love Coda updates. We do see the comments on the channel. We do know that all the comments are about you now. <laughs> Which he seems quite happy with, to be honest. You waving? Waving. Hello. Got you some books. It's so nice um, around Christmas time. Oh, are they new? Yeah, I got in some Christmassy books. Oh, nice. I love the collection of Christmas books that we have. Yeah, lovely. Dear Santa, and I love the Tales from Acorn Wood ones. Oh, let's see. Squirrel's Snowman, you know this one? We've got like oh, a different yeah, version. Yeah, yeah. These characters. Yeah, nice. With a funny looking squirrel. Yeah, he loves all this stuff. <coughs> Hello. But what he loves most is laptops and things that aren't toys. <laughs> things that he shouldn't really have. Do you want some socks? Look. Oh. No, just, want, want just wants the laptop. Do you want some vests? <laughs> What's this? Oh yeah, they only yeah. had um, 18 to 24 months, but I reckon it'll actually fit him. Okay. Yeah, probably. He's a big boy. That will fit him. They look a bit big, I don't know. That's fitting perfectly. Is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How is he fitting in 18 to 24 months? That literally wow. goes right the way off his Coda. back. Yeah. Alright then, we have a two year old. Even though he's 10 months old. It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> he's changed so quickly. So this is Coda's room that we're in right now. Um, if you saw the previous vlogs, you would have seen that our bedroom, which is actually the living room of this flat, um, is, where, is where we're kind of sleeping, but box, surrounded by boxes, basically. But it's been so nice around Christmas time. Coda, I think, to be honest, next year is going to be... <laughs> Hello. Next year is going to be even more special for him around Christmas time. Yeah even more special. But this year he's liking all the lights. Yeah, We've gone on that. some walks and there's some lights up in town. He's loving that, which is so, so nice. He's loving being around his family. He's such a sociable baby. We did see some comments about 
spending Christmas in the Philippines and people, when we put the vlogs out that we were leaving, some people were upset or disappointed that we weren't spending Christmas in the Philippines. And we would love to do that again. We've been in the Philippines for Christmas once. It is amazing. It's probably the best time of year in that country. But then I saw another comment that said if they did that, it would just literally be the three of them. Because even though we have this huge audience on YouTube from the Philippines, all of you guys will be with your families. It's true. It would be quite, I don't know, kind of lonely, I guess, if it was just the three of us when we've got all our family in the UK, everyone looking forward <laughs> to spending time with Coda for his very first Christmas. And Christmas for us, and I know for a lot of you guys, is family time. So, whoa. Well done. Uh -oh. So we, um, yeah, we knew that we wanted to be back in the UK for actual the Christmas Hi. period. Are these socks or mittens? So look, I don't know. What would you say they are? I have no... There's probably missing Oh no, that's something I ordered. Because it's getting really cold. That'd be weird. <laughs> and that is the beauty of the Philippines Christmas starting so early actually, because we could still be there when there was Christmas trees up, Christmas lights up in the malls. Um, so we kind of got some of that Christmas spirit there as well, which was awesome. And then we can come back and actually spend Christmas time with our family. So, so that is probably the best thing about being back in the UK right now. And I'm kind of loving the cold weather. I know we keep saying how cold it is, but like getting these jumpers out again, and just layering up, putting our boots on, putting our gloves on, putting our coats on, going for a crisp cold walk in the woods. That is, I think, winter in the UK. People moan about it. Brit the British love to complain, but to be honest, I do quite like this cold weather. So it is that time of evening again. We need to get our dinner going. We need to get Coda fed and to bed. I've got a little bit more work to do, need to do some editing. Let us know if you enjoyed this vlog. We're gonna sign off here. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry if I keep looking here because on this camera, the, the screen is there. I need to, of course, look into the lens. Also let me know, we're filming in 4K. Apparently the steadiness isn't as good in 4K. If we go to 1080p, it'll be a little bit more stable. Let me know if the um, footage looks good or if any, any feedback on the new camera would be awesome. The sound, the picture, the quality. I'm also pretty sure there is a, um, skin smooth thing going on which i'll try and turn off because my skin is not that smooth and i don't want anyone thinking it is <laughs> all right i better go and see him thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed it please subscribe if you're not already and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it we will be back very soon with another festive christmas vlogmas video he's near the front door so i do have to go thanks for watching see you guys soon